In 1908, the Post's first issue of the year featured a New Year's baby on its cover. The artist was J.C. Leyendecker, and for the next 35 New Year's issues, his babies always started off the magazine's year. Over time, he incorporated references to topics of the day, like this timely reference to the birth of the airplane. The Wright brothers had completed their first successful flight just four weeks earlier. Another issue was women's suffrage, the opening of the Panama Canal, the upheaval in Europe at the start of World War I, the continued fighting in France and Belgium, and America's entry into the war. Finally, the return of peace, which appeared on the cover just seven weeks after the armistice. 1920's baby referred to the dry spell expected with the beginning of prohibition. But with declining support for prohibition, 1927's baby was expecting wet weather. 1929's baby was hoping to break his fall after the stock market crash. Over the coming years, the New Year's babies were often preoccupied with the struggling economy. War replaced economics as the chief concern in 1940. This year's baby was packed and ready for the war in Europe. 1941's New Year's baby, appearing just weeks after Pearl Harbor, showed there was no escaping the war. Leyendecker's last two New Year's covers showed the baby protecting the Western Hemisphere and going after the symbols of Imperial Japan, Nazi Germany, and Fascist Italy. Leyendecker also tried using babies for Easter and Thanksgiving covers, but they appeared less memorable than the New Year's infants, who seemed to capture the sense of surprise, wonder, and potential in the year that was just starting. This video is brought to you by the Saturday Evening Post Digital Archives. Saturday Evening Post members can explore our 200-year-old archive for only $15 a year. Subscribe today.